Hey, hey, sugar. Oh, Sandman. What was the number today? 304. 304? Yes. Man, god damn it. The third time you done slapped my number, man. We'll take care of Somebody, them. we'll take care of Somebody gonna take care of my money. You take care of my money, man. I'll take care of Third time I done here. What's wrong, brother? He lost the number. <laughs> so how'd it go? Is she still working on Man, I don't know. I'm still working on it. She didn't want to talk about it on the telephone. But it looked like we're doing good tonight, huh? Doing great. Cool. Damn. For a couple seconds. Who's that? That's the cop I was telling you about. Came by my house. Hey, Ray. Hey, Candy Man. Hello, Sergeant Canton. I'd like you to meet a friend of mine, Mr. Quick. Quick like and fast? Quick like and quick to whip somebody's ass. Oh, you mean like you might get your ass whipped quick? I haven't had my ass whipped in a while. It's probably been like 1911. Yeah, that's when the doctor slapped you on the ass, right? Yes, that's the last ass whipping I recall. Him. I'm looking for him. I'll stick around. I'm kind of mad at you, Ray. Why are you mad at me? Well, you lied to me, Ray. Well, you told me you're in the candy business, and it turns out that you were the Ray I was looking for. You gonna take me in for that and arrest me? <laughs> no, I ain't gonna arrest you. I, uh, I want to talk business with you. Where can we talk? My office? Oh, it's your office. <laughs> Thank you. OK, Ray, here's the deal. I got a call from a friend of mine by the name of Bugsy Calhoun. He told me you're sitting on a little gold mine here. Now, don't get me wrong. I know there's always going to be after hour places. And we pretty much leave them alone when the money's not that significant. But you guys are doing about 10, 15,000 a week. I mean, that's a lot of money. And to be perfectly honest, Mr. Calhoun and myself want some of it. How much money are you talking about, you maggot motherfucker? Well, you guys are doing 15000 a week. Let's say our cut is 10000 <laughs> You're robbing us, you son of a bitch. No, no, no. You're robbing the system, Ray. What do you want, sympathy from me? You're criminals, for Christ's sake. I think it's a pretty fair deal. I wanted more. But Bugsy said it was fair. I mean, he's a real softy, Bugsy. I mean, if it was up to me, I'd give you jigs just enough money to function. So when I see you guys with the, with the fancy suits and cars and nice houses, and I'm living in a fucking hovel! I mean, that bothers me. So what do you say, Ray? We got a deal or what? Can we get back to you? No. I'll get back to you. Ray, would you mind if I take a box of chocolate hearts? It's my wife's birthday. Help yourself. Anything you want. Thanks. I want you to round everyone up and be in my house in an hour. Hey. Hey, man, we can't let this motherfucker just come in here and do this. Don't tell me we're going to run from this guy. We got to, but before we do, we're going to kick him in the nuts. Well, Calhoun can kiss my ass because me and my girls, we ain't giving him shit. I said we ought to relocate. That's easy to say. A lot of y'all got families, or you can't just up and relocate. But I know as much as I hear you motherfuckers complain, ain't nobody that can get by on a third of what you've been getting. 
Who could get back with it? Sure, sure, fellas, I got a plan that we can all make some heavy money. If everything works out the way I plan it, you'll have $50,000 a piece. You know, with that, you can relocate, you know? Go legit if you want to. Mm -hmm. Open your own business. Hey, Sugar, how are we going to make $50,000 a piece? Everybody knows the big fight is this week. Yeah. That's right. And there's going to be three quarters of a million dollars in the booking houses by Friday. That sounds like Bugsy Calhoun's going to make a lot of money. I mean, he owns all the booking houses in the city except ours. So how are we going to make $50,000? We gonna rob Bugsy Calhoun. Sugar said we never had a muscle to fight him. How we gonna take this motherfucker's money? Listen to me. If everything goes the way I plan it to, we'll be one day gone by the time he realizes he's been hit. And another thing we gotta do is get all the cash we can and put it on that white bar to win. Man, Jenkins gonna kill that boy. Exactly. And Calhoun knows we know Jenkins, so he'll figure if he sees us betting on the white boy, we talk Jenkins into taking a little dive, you know, so we can have some extra money when we relocate. Oh, I get it. He puts his money with the other money, so it don't make no difference who wins. We hitting all the money. Sugar, you're a sweet, smart motherfucker. You guys with me? Yeah. 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 I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow, then. Yeah. $50,000. Wow. That's proud of money. Quick. Hey, Vera, I just want honey, to talk to you. Minute, to talk to you. you know, it might not be a bad idea if you talk to Tommy Smalls tomorrow. Meet with Tommy Smalls for what? Well, he can't be a bigger Tom, as they say, man. I mean, you meet with him, loosen him up a little bit, maybe I'll tell you something about Canton. Mm, I don't know, Sugar. You think Smalls is that stupid? I know he's that stupid. <laughs> <laughs>